Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is me, Darren, and I am, as you know, the bow tie fragrance guy. As I always tell you, I'm just a guy. I like to look nice, <laughs> but I like to smell even better. And uh, the first thing that I want to let you guys in on something is I'm a, a little bit under the weather tonight. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to try to, to, to uh, push through. I've been wanting to do a review on this fragrance for a minute. So, you know, it's just one of those nights where I'm like, man, I'm not feeling the best, but I got an opportunity. My kids are asleep. So uh, that gives me a chance to actually come down here and, and, and kind of get into it. So uh, anyway, without further ado, uh, I've been really wanting to review this fragrance for a minute because um, the more and more I wear this fragrance, the more and more that I'm really, really falling in love with it. Uh, this fragrance that I want to review with you tonight uh, come to, from, comes from the house of Thierry Mugler, probably the fourth release uh, from the original uh, Amen, which was released in 1996. This one was released in the year 2011. And the fragrance that I am uh, reviewing tonight is Pure Havan by Thierry Mugler. Take a look, get a look at that. Uh, uh, this is the only one from that line that comes with this light brown flask. They all, from that, <clears throat> that line, the Amen line, they all come in this almost like flask. Uh, type of bottle but this is the only one that that, that comes in the light brown you have uh, pure you have the original Amen which was released in 1996 then you have uh, pure I think pure coffee was next in 2008 and then you have <coughs> pure malt in 2009 and then you have at pure Havana in 2011 uh, since then they've done a couple others pure wood pure leather but anyway uh, the one again we're talking about tonight is the Pure Havan. So, this fragrance is, in my humble opinion, a masterpiece. This is what I consider to be a masterpiece. Um, I know this probably won't go over well with a lot of people, but I am not really a fan of the original Amen. I, I cannot get past the, the harsh opening with that tar note. I just can't do it, I, and I've tried. I, I mean, uh, the more you, you know, kind of delve into this fragrance journey, and you know, you learn uh, how a lot of other people view certain fragrances, um, I found myself really giving it a shot. But sorry, guys, I just I can't get past the opening of the original Amen. But a lot of the other flankers I really really like, and uh, this is my favorite one so far, Pure Havana. So, without further ado, I actually sprayed this on my hand earlier. This wasn't my scent of the day, but I actually did spray it on. Um, so, I'm going to spray it one more time so I can get open it. A little bit more on it dry down. I have it on both hands. It's on this hand. All right. So, right out of the gate with this. The two top notes in this fragrance are tobacco and honey and when I was looking it up there is actually uh, molecules and a tobacco note the one that's used in this fragrance that has a fruity um, kind of aspect to it there's a fruity aspect to the tobacco note in this fragrance so when you combine the fruity the, the tobacco with the honey there is a a vibe of cherry that you get with this fragrance and I really wanted to figure that out because when, when you smell it I mean that you 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 you're gonna think the kind of cherry note in it but there's no cherry note in it um, it is a a very uh, a very synthetic smelling cherry uh, vibe that you get from it but that's from the tobacco combined with the honey that's where the, the cherry, uh, you're going to get that cherry nuance that comes from this fragrance. Now, the thing that I love about this is, unlike the original Amen, uh, you don't have, again, that harsh opening. Um, this, for me, was a, how would I classify this? It was a, 
a sensational olfactory experience from beginning to end with this fragrance. What I did like about the original uh, Amen was the dry down. Uh, that's when you got into the, 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 the gourmandish, chocolatey, <sighs> chocolatey patchouli dry down, which is signature in all the flankers in this line. But I love the beginning and the middle of this a lot more, of course, than the original. Uh, there is a vanilla note in here, and the base on this is a warm oriental uh, accord that you get on the base with labdomum and amber, combined with the vanilla, the dry down, the, the gourmandis, the chocolatey, um, the patchouli uh, dry down that you get with the original. But you combine that with a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla, and you get this masterpiece uh, that was released in 2011, which is Pure Havana. Now, uh, if you look at, uh, if you ever go to uh, the, the website, the Thierry Mugler's website, all of the fragrances are either 89 or 90 bucks. I, I don't know why, why it's a little bit, there's, there's a difference. Mugler's website, all of the fragrances are either 89 or 90 bucks. I don't know why the why it's a little bit this it's a difference. Um, there's a dollar difference on some of them. I don't know. But anyway, this one was listed for $90 on the website. This was a limited edition. Uh, when I went to the website today just doing a little research, it was out of stock. But of course, um, you can find it on a lot of secondhand retail sites. Uh, it's gonna run you between 45 to 60 bucks depending on where you get it from and I definitely say that it is well worth the price of admission for this masterpiece so uh, I would recommend this uh, really from to me I think it's more of a of a fall winter fragrance more fall than winter although I think this one is uh, a little bit versatile from the standpoint you can actually probably pull this off on a you know not so hot uh, uh, spring night maybe a night out in the spring uh, definitely a good uh, fragrance to wear if you're gonna be going out and hanging out maybe uh, I, I could dress you could dress this one up I think you could wear it to you know with a shirt and tie very versatile uh, that's another thing that I really like about it um, so if you can put your nose on this uh, I would definitely recommend that you go and pick it up uh, since this was a limited edition this is the only size that this one comes in I know the original comes in a 1.7 ounce, this is a 3.4, and that's the only size that you'll be able to find this in. Uh, but guys, I highly recommend it. Um, if I had to give this a, a, a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, to me this is a 10 out of 10. Uh, it projects well, it lasts on your skin, so you have uh, good projection, you have great longevity, um, and also when you talk about the price of it. It's a great price uh, for such a great fragrance. Again, most of you are gonna pay uh, between $45 to $60 for it. So I definitely say, uh, if you can put your nose on it, man, go pick this one up. This is a this is a masterpiece right here. Released in 2011, this is Pure Havana by Thierry Mugler. Um, like I said, as I said, I'm a little on the weather, so forgive me. Y'all see my mug? How about them Cowboys, baby? <laughs> we got Zeke coming back. I think we're going to be all right. But anyway, if you have not subscribed to my channel and you happen to run across this video, please do me a favor and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. And I would really appreciate your support. Um, yeah, man. And uh, tell some other folks about my video, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I'm here, man. I'm giving you guys some good content. You know, hopefully you like what I'm doing, so show some love to me by subscribing to my channel and sharing my videos with some other people. And again, as I always say, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. You like how it rhymes, right? I'm just a guy that likes to look nice, but I like to smell even better. Catch you guys next time. Peace.